Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DE VR. Today we will play Stack in the PC VR version. And this is a multiplayer uh, game. Uh, everything is about throwing a disc and stuff. Uh, in this video, I will not show you matches against other people. I will just, because uh, I got early access and the servers are empty, I will show you uh, how the game is controlled, how the menu looks, and of course, how the maps look. So uh, this is gonna be interesting to have a first glimpse into the game. So yeah, guys, you will see, find some scenes. And as always, thank you to my sponsors, Vukos VR, Opperman Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay, guys, welcome to the game. So um, when I played the game, the, it was not uh, available, uh, public, so um, unfortunately I uh, didn't find uh, the people here, but it's not a problem. Uh, this video is only about, I want to show you how the game works, how the game looks and how you can control that. So uh, let's just go for practice here. And uh, everything is about this disc here and you can throw it with a, with a grip button. Look at this. Uh, and then it flies around and you can also control it during the flight when you throw it very slow yeah, you see that you can you can control the disc here and then pull it back for example you can uh, give me a second c uh, can destroy that thing here uh, and uh, and you can also use the bow and arrow thing here to, to shoot your disc. That's much faster, yeah, and then uh, you can kill the enemy. So that's uh, it uh, for, for the controls of the disc and stuff. And sometimes you get some perks here, like throw speed. Uh, and now you can, it's much faster, you see that? So there are a lot of perks here, for example, shield break, uh, freezer, and, and all this stuff. You can freeze uh, your enemies, you can slow them down, uh, sometimes you get more jetpack because we have a jetpack. So if you, if I push the A button and pump me up, myself up, look at this, you can, you can go like everywhere I would say and that's, that's really nice. Um, so this is, uh, by the way, it's a PC VR version. Look at this. Yeah, I saw this is a private match, but you can also uh, go to a public match and stuff. So I will show you the menu. This on the left um, B button. And uh, yeah, you can choose some audio settings, push to talk. Here are some game settings, dominant hand, uh, movement stick. You can just uh, do everything what you want here. Uh, invert jetpack, jetpack control. Let's go uh, back to the lobby. So yeah, this is the lobby, yeah, and for the private match, there's there's, there's a code and you could enter that uh, match now. Uh, but uh, now I want to show you the the different maps. So we have deathmatch and team deathmatch, and here we can go to the maps. So we have three maps: coal works, wait, factory, and toxic pit. Yeah. So I will show you. I will quickly show them to you. So you can see the difference. So here we go. This coal works. Uh, so it's it's like a old coal mine. Uh, so we have some ways here to to get. Uh, also there are the perks here. Three immortality. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is. Uh, I think it's a little bit slower because it's not so open like other maps, or like the third map I will show you. Uh, these are teleporters, yeah, and then you can fly around here if you like, like this. Uh, pretty nice map, I would say. Yeah, but also the, all the maps are not so big, and I think that's good to to have more action. Yeah, see that here. That's that's the that's this map, and let I uh, show you the other one. Give me a second. So uh, you will go to, to settings and then you go for factory. I will show you the factory map. So 
So as you can see, the, the style is everywhere the same, like this old walls and stuff. But uh, yeah, here we have some, look, look at this list, like a big uh, fan that, that blasts you into the air. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty similar, this map. Yeah, see that? It's a little bit more open and then we have this uh, acid here, I would say. <laughs> Here's a more open room. I yeah. think there will be a little bit more action in this one than in the other one. It's it's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Can I go there? Or yeah. So, so I think the controls of the game are really hard to learn. At least for me, I'm I'm a little bit too stupid to to throw and, and manage all that. stuff. Uh, same time perhaps I'm too old for that <laughs> but uh, yeah so this is um, the second map I go back to the lobby and I will show you the third map and I think this is the coolest one it's the toxic pit guys the toxic pit Here we go. So the style is the same again, but look at this. Look at this huge arena. And uh, there you can, can go everywhere again. And it's very open. I think here there, here there will be the, the biggest action. Yeah. Uh oh. No! Dead. <laughs> As you can see, when you fall there in the acid, you are, you are instant dead. Yeah. But look at this, we can go up there all the ways and you can of course hide somewhere. Uh, you, you can hide uh, and, and then uh, control the disc with your hands. Yeah. Like this. But of course the other uh, players also have the shield. Yeah. So that's uh, interesting. So everything is about the disc. Yeah, this is the only thing you you have here. And then you can go. So this is the third map, guys. And then you could go to the to the main menu here. Uh, I can show it as well. And uh, yeah, you you can just join public lobby, private lobby, and a short tutorial where you just learn how to block and throw the disc and so on. And yeah, that's it so far. So guys, that was only a video video about the maps and how to uh, handle and play the game. Of course, there was no gameplay with other. Uh, uh, players because I, uh, the, the lobbies were empty of course because I got early access to the game but as later I will show another um, map a match where, where we can uh, shoot or kill some other players um, so yeah let's go back to the studio and talk about it okay guys stack so as I said that was not a gameplay against other people I just want to show you uh, how it feels how the controls are uh, the menu and um, of course the, the three maps. So um, I hope that was a short glimpse and I hope you can understand what the game is about. And um, yeah, so I will give, give you my really honest opinion. I'm pretty sure that in four weeks after release the servers will be empty. Unfortunately, I, I hope I will not be right but uh, we have so many multiplayer games uh, where the servers are empty in VR. And I guess this one will have a really bad uh, start. The, not because it's a bad game, it's a good game. But for example, it's uh, getting very hot here and nobody wants to play VR. And uh, then the problem is that you can not find other people and stuff uh, during the summer here. And uh, also, I must be honest that just throwing a disc and, and uh, jumping around and flying around, is, is, for me, it's not enough. Uh, I, I want some, some weapons, some other stuff and, and so on. So I think th the game will, will have a hard time to, to uh, c 
consist uh, between or to exist uh, next to other uh, multiplayer games like Onboard, Pavlov and all that stuff. Uh, so I wish the developers good luck uh, with this game. But yeah, we, we will see. I hope I'm not right. So guys, anyway, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo.